We are on lesson 36. We will be using tape diagrams to multiply fractions, all right? So on my tape diagrams, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw 3 fourths, 3 fourths, 3 fourths, and 3 fourths in a tape diagram. So here's my first one. I have 1, 2, 3 fourths. That's one of them. 1, 2, 3 fourths. One, two, three fourths, and one, two, three fourths. So here's three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths. Now let's talk about how many fourths we have. Three, six, nine, twelve. So that's equal to twelve fourths, which is the same as saying two things. Twelve fourths is the same as saying twelve times one fourth. Okay? It is also the same as saying 12 fourths is the same as 1, 2, 3, 4. I have four sets of 3 fourths. All right? So two ways to represent it. Represent 12 times 1 fourth or 4 times 3 fourths. They're both equal to 12 fourths. Let's try another one. Let's do 7 twelfths plus 7 twelfths plus 7 twelfths. Let's start with our tape diagrams. So I'm going to have to make 3 7 twelfths. Divided my holes into twelfths, now let's make seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one seven twelfth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's another seven twelfth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my last seven twelfth. So if I were to count all of these seven twelfths together, I'd have seven twelfths, fourteen twelfths, twenty-one twelfths. All right? So my total is 21 twelfths. Now let's talk about that in multiplication terms, all right? So 21 twelfths is like saying 21 times 1 twelfth, right? Because 21 times 1 twelfth, if you counted 1 twelfth 21 times, you'd have 21 twelfths, right? And or I can do it another way. 21 twelfths is the same as saying 7 twelfths times 3. I have three groups of 7 twelfths. All right? Let's do one more tape diagram. So let's do 7 fifths plus 7 fifths plus 7 fifths plus 7 fifths. So now I need to make sure I represent my whole here because I have an improper fraction. Remember we did that several lessons ago? So I have seven parts here, but my whole is really this, right? So make sure you represent that. Here's my whole because my whole is fifths. I want my whole to be five equally sized parts. Here's the whole. All right. Now I have seven of those fifths. So here's five fifths. I need two more fifths to make seven fifths, right? Same with this one. This is equal to one. This is equal to one. So five fifths, five fifths, five fifths. This is equal to 5 fifths. Okay, I need two more to get me to 7 fifths. 5 fifths. And two more to get me to 7 fifths. Oh, I have four sets of 7 fifths. I need to make one more. There's my hole. That's equal to 5 fifths. 
All right, if I were to count all of these fifths together, I would have 7, 14, 21, 28. So 28 fifths. That's the same as saying 28 times 1 fifth. That is also the same as saying I have 28 fifths. It's the same as 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 7 fifths. All right? Now it is your turn. So for homework, I would like you to draw tape diagrams and show me two of the equations that this would work for. So your first problem is 9 tenths times 3. Number two, I would like you to do 11 tenths times 5 and make sure you draw tape diagrams. And 8 and 2 thirds. So for your homework, you need to have a tape diagram for every problem. You also need the addition sentence And you need the multiplication sentences. Remember there were two. So really quickly, let's talk about what the addition sentence here would be. So 9 tenths times 3 would be the same as 9 tenths plus 9 tenths plus 9 tenths, right? There's your addition sentence. All right. Um, keep up the good work, and I will see you tomorrow.